Hey everybody, before we begin today, I just wanted to say this whole uh, YouTube Patreon thing, it really hasn't been paying the bills, so right now I want to let you know about my OnlyFans account, where you can see images such as this, full frontal, all feathers exposed, plenty of feet pictures, beak on beak action, all you have to do is join the OnlyFans dot Pornhub is better in every way dot com. Welcome back to Crow Judgment, and today uh, we're going to be talking about iDubs, his girlfriend, the OnlyFans page, and a DMCA complaint that has hit all of the interwebs. Uh, now, I saw this on Nick Ricada's channel. He gives a very good legal breakdown of why this DMCA complaint uh, seems to be done in bad faith, why it's likely not very good to have done. And uh, I suggest taking a look at it. So I'm just going to be giving my opinions on this. But before we begin, please do me a favor and uh, uh, drop a like on this video. Leave a comment, even if that comment is, Crow, uh, how much is it to join your OnlyFans account? Uh, uh, and then when you're done leaving that comment, uh, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. And maybe I'll give you a discount on our OnlyFans account. <laughs> so what is going on? As you can see, uh, this is from, to my understanding, the owner of Kiwi Farms. I wouldn't know that for certain, for I do no background research into what I do. Uh, not without help from Origami, uh, who was unfortunately unavailable. But... He went ahead and provided a link to Kiwi Farms, and in it, you can see uh, these were the uh, takedowns that were provided under that DMCA complaint, and there are 199, and possibly counting, for all I know. But, yeah, this is, this is a little embarrassing. Now, you know, when iDubs did the uh, video response uh, to his, his haters, um, I, I thought, man, you know what? You're, you're being kind of a bitch right now. I'm not going to call you a simp or a cuck. You're just being kind of a bitch. Because you say that you're A-OK -okay with your girlfriend doing these things, which, fine. Um, but you're critical of everybody. Like, you, you do content cops on... Well, you used to do content cops on people. And you'd make fun of them for doing equally stupid shit. Now, you don't think what your girlfriend's doing is that bad? Fine. You know, whatever. Uh, other people obviously disagree, and they decided to clown on you. And for the most part, that's all it was. I didn't see losing a bunch of subscribers. I didn't see people jumping into all your videos, hating on everything. Yeah, there are some people that took it too far, but I mean, so what? Welcome to the fucking internet, dude. <laughs> you used to understand that. But to see you kind of do this video response in which you... Uh, uh, how do I, I'll just let you say it. It seems like me just ignoring it has led to, uh, like a cultivation of a bunch of retards. Yeah, man, uh, probably not a good look to be calling your fans retarded. Look, man, it, they, they made fun of you. Get the fuck over it. You can't say that on the one hand, you're okay with what your girlfriend does, but on the other hand, oh man, <laughs> these people are fucking retarded. They're making fun of you. They're doing the same shit you did to other people. That you that you got millions of views on your videos making fun of people. Using the exact same language that they're now throwing in your face. You, you, I mean, I don't, I don't know how else to say it, but you, you, you're kind of becoming a basic bitch. Now, look, I get it. Uh, I does is clearly more used to people making fun of others. And laughing with him, not at him, especially after he took off and became such a big name on the platform. But if you want to prove that, I, I understand you don't have to prove anything. You don't have to prove anything to me or to the interwebs or to the YouTubes. But if you're trying to say, man, I don't care what these people think, but also... It doesn't work that way. Obviously, you're a little offended. Obviously, you're not as okay with what your girlfriend does. And that's fine. She did it. You, you, If you're okay with it, shut the fuck up about it. Don't do a response video where you call your fans retarded. Don't, don't do... Don't do this shit where you file all these DMCA complaints. Apparently, one of them was a DMCA complaint and takedown uh, of a photo from his girlfriend's Twitter account, not even from her OnlyFans page. And, and you know, you gotta understand, man, 
you have so many uh, uh, followers, you have so many subscribers to your channel, you're so well known that yeah, some of her photos are gonna get out and are gonna be shared for free. And, and guess what, if people are interested in that, uh, I don't, I personally, I don't know why, because uh, obviously you can see much better stuff for, 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 for absolutely nothing on, on the porn hubs. But look, if people wanna see that, they're gonna get that photo for free and then they're gonna run immediately to our OnlyFans page and pay money. So what, what are you really doing? You're just, I, I wouldn't even call this the Streisand effect because everyone kind of knows it's out there. It's not like you're getting more views to her page. It's not like you're getting more views on your channel. Uh, you just got more people like me looking at you who, who used to think, ah, oh, dude, this dude's hilarious thinking, oh man, this guy's kind of a bitch. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Not a long one today. I just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions because I never jumped on the uh, I, I dubs as a cuck bandwagon uh, when it was hip and popular. And uh, when I saw that video from uh, Urkata going over this new escalation, I was like, hmm, now's a good time. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.